Hi there, it's Lindsay here. I'm back at Grandma's doing a little work. I am going to show you just a little reminder of what her house looked like before. This is after we painted the cabinets, but before she got her countertops. She had this like blue Famica, that's what she's had forever when they first built the house. And then the refrigerator was over here by the stove on the stove side. So that's kind of all changed around. She got brand new countertops that they were just put in. So now it's time for us to fix up the backsplash. Also, uh, Jason came by and switched out her refrigerator. He moved it for her, made sure there was a plug over there for her. So now she could move her refrigerator over by the back door. So that gave her a lot more counter space on the other side, which you'll see closer to the end of this video because I didn't film any of the other side of the room. <laughs> So when I'm tiling, I'm just gonna measure the space that I have and make sure I don't have like a sliver, small sliver up at the top or something, cause I don't want to do that. But it turned out that I had a pretty decent sized piece up there. So I went ahead and started with a full piece on the bottom cause I like to do that when I can. Some people like to make it to where the piece on the top and the piece on the bottom are the same size. So that's pretty t easy to do when you're measuring your tiles. I lose my breath whenever I see you. you do my life was great till you added colors like the moon needs the sun we don't care about the others you said my world on fire you're my heart's desire just wanna love you, just wanna hold you, just wanna be with you till we grow old. We set up a tile saw or a wet saw in the garage and I'm really glad that we had it because it made it a lot easier. It's not anything that you need to be scared of. It's loud. As long as you work slow and don't get in too much of a hurry, it's not something that's dangerous. You also wanna go pretty slow because you don't want your tiles to chip, especially if you have a pretty pattern on them. I don't know what I do without you You make me smile what is it that you do My life was great till you added colors Like the moon is the snow we don't care about the other I used a premixed mortar called type 1 and when you're putting mortar on the walls, you wanna make sure that you scrape all the way to the wall. You'll definitely be able to hear the scrape just like this when you do it right. to work in a triangle pattern putting more on the bottom than the top that's because I'll be stair stepping my tiles today and laying like a brick pattern for these I just measured out how many I would need to see how many half pieces that I would need for the end piece here it always takes longer in the beginning when you're getting everything set up but I just use the countertop to level it because even if your countertops aren't level you're gonna want to put your tiles level with your countertops or it will look funky it's nothing new, but it's so good to see you. We do this every day, and I'm still so amazed by you. So hold.
never ends. Let's be a more than friends. Stay every single day. Yeah. So hold me tight through the night. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's just us two. on my saw was rounded the smaller cuts didn't go all the way through I didn't want to cut too far because that would actually show on my tile and I didn't want that so I just cut to my line and even though it didn't really I took a pair of needle nose pliers and plucked it off and then kind of cleaned out my edging there and that worked just fine
saving you You saved me too Yeah, I need it Don't you need me to Cause I got you And you got me too this time that my mom came to help me and it really does help having a second person helping out she was able to put all the mortar on while I was able to go ahead and lay tile and cut tile and I didn't have to worry about that part of it so it went quite a bit faster once she came in This is where my heart is Oh, you know it's true No matter where I go I'm coming home to you How come the stars come to shine When it's dark From so far away Show us where we are What makes the sun go to sleep Every night, and what's it dreaming of? I wonder. How come the sky sometimes hides behind the clouds? Maybe it's just like me, a little bit scared of heights. Why does the rain always keep on pouring? It's gray outside It really makes 
makes me wonder. Yeah, it makes me wonder. It really makes me wonder. Ooh, I wonder. How come the trees get sun dried when it's cold? The corner took the most time because I had a couple angles and just trying to match everything up, but I had good company, so it didn't seem like that long. Um, my grandmother is my dad's mom, but uh, she and my mother actually live in the same town too. They all live in the same town, so my mom and my grandma are still very close, even though my parents aren't together anymore and haven't been for quite some time. Uh, grandma says that she can still considers my mom her daughter-in-law, and she always will, so I think that's really, really sweet and a nice relationship that they built for a long time. My parents were married for 20 or 25 years, somewhere around there. I can't remember right now, but that's a long time to have a relationship with somebody and then just drop the mother-in-law. So I'm glad that she didn't do that and I'm glad that they always had a good relationship. It was nice seeing that relationship be healthy. Never knew that it could feel this way when you lie next to someone You don't even need to play pretend Cause You find the way you are I wanna know you better Give me every detail I won't judge you as you know I could stay forever We let our tiles dry for quite some time and then we started to grout. Now I used a grout float first but it was making way more of a mess so I ended up just grabbing the grout with my hands and I did use a sanded grout because my grout lines were bigger than a, an eighth of an inch. For those you do need to use a sanded grout. So I just took off with my hands and kind of stuffed it in there and mom was coming behind me and cleaning it off and fixing the grout lines with a sponge. as honest as you are the way you make me feel at night when i am vulnerable and it's cold outside but you make it all right i want to know you better give me every detail i'm burning up i'm hot i'm gonna burn i can't i tried earlier and i can't do it Whatever you gotta do, I'm burning. Oh. I feel like I'm about to spontaneously combust. Oh my gosh, you are my daughter. Fun fact, my grandma's gonna kick my butt for them rollers and that uh, sweatshirt. She wears her sweatshirt inside out because the outside's more comfortable than the inside, so that makes a lot of sense to me. I don't know about you, but I say wear what's comfortable. <laughs> but she really is gonna kick my butt if she sees that. So here is our finished product. As you can see, she has a lot more counter space on the side over with the stove. It looks really beautiful. And I think that the dark grout really pulled out some of the black in the appliances and things. It is a charcoal grout, but since she had her cast iron on her stove, I think that that looked really nice. We are gonna add a shelf in that big open space to put her microwave but that'll be in the future. So we still have a little work to do, but it looks good so far. I was able to christen the new backsplash by making some banana bread because my niece was up there and she wanted some. So I figured I'd go ahead and give you this recipe. I did do this one on my channel long, long ago, but it's been a long time. You're gonna preheat your oven to 350, but I did two smaller loaves so she could have chocolate chips in one of them and one of them regular. But I'm just gonna get my overripe bananas in a bowl and start mashing those up. with me 
many of my recipes, the next ingredient you can switch up a bit. So you're going to need one cup of either sour cream, you could use Greek yogurt, you could use cream cheese. If you're dairy free, you could use some apple sauce if you wanted to here. So it's just something that's kind of creamy. This will make the banana bread like a very creamy banana bread. To this mixture, I'm also going to pop in two eggs and mix those around. This is all of my wet ingredients. Now I'm gonna add in a cup of sugar and two cups of all-purpose flour. And then I have half a teaspoon of baking soda and one and a half teaspoons of baking powder. I'm gonna give this a good mix and then I've melted a stick of butter and this is salted butter. If you don't have salted butter, then you're gonna wanna add a little bit of salt to your batter because you need salt. With sweet, with sweet stuff, you gotta have it a little salty. It makes the flavors taste so much better. I'm just putting half of this in a prepared pan as plain, and then I'm gonna mix in some chocolate chips to the other. You could also do walnuts or pecans or even like coconut shreds, whatever you like in your bread. I have also topped this with streusel before. That's probably my favorite way to eat it. I'm gonna link my original recipe down below because it has what you do for that streusel too. So that'll be down in the description box for you. I'm just gonna bake these for 40 minutes at first and I'll check them and see if they need longer. Mine actually took 50 minutes total. Thank you for watching today. I'm just gonna take you back to the original kitchen, what it looked like before we started all the renovations. I think that this is a completely transformed space now. Uh, I'm really fond of it and I think that grandma likes it too. We've still got some work to do, but we are getting closer and closer to doing what grandpa wanted us to do, which was remodel the house for her. I can't wait to see how you like it down in the comments below and I will see you in the next one. Bye.